Hi, I'm Christina, an intern at Youth Radio. I am currently in a mobile action lab where we develop apps, and this is Brains and Beakers. Today we have with us Alice Brooks and Bettina Chen from Ruminate. While getting their engineering masters from Stanford, they were surprised by the lack of women in their field, and so they decided to do something about it. They created Ruminate, a do-it-yourself dollhouse designed to encourage girls' interest in engineering. Please join me in welcoming Alice and Bettina. It really clicked for both of us when we talked about why we had become engineers and we realized that toys had had a huge influence on us and we wanted to make toys that could have an influence on more girls. I think one thing that makes Ruminate different is we're really challenging these girls to do something at a level that they haven't done with any of their other toys. Giving them these tools like a motor, which you don't see in other girls' toys, and giving them the opportunity to really figure out how to make a merry-go-round or an elevator or windmill with it. The girls that you target are from like ages 6 to 12. Mm -hmm. So how do you think this process will like teach them more about, you know, STEM? It's more about just giving them early exposure to these subjects. So in California we know that circuits everyone learns about in fourth grade. So giving them kind of just seeing that they can make this and being exposed to these concepts of circuits and how everything needs to be connected in the loop for it to work. It just gives them a little more intuition and also more they're more comfortable when it comes up in classes. Well, I'm in the process of making a, um, a Japanese animation studio. And then I have like the drawing section where you draw out your animation first and then you can process it to the computer. And then, you know, if you get all tired and stuff, you can just, you know, turn on the fan here. <laughs> I kind of just made like a robot. <laughs> it's a robot. <laughs> well, I learned that you can put in these pieces, see these little like pieces, you can kind of stick them in and put them at any, any angle you want. It, it's cool, I like these. I'm building a recording studio. This is the computer right here, and then this is the soundproof room right here, and then this is the mic. And I learned that you could um, take things apart and improve, and I, did. I think that's kind of a part of engineering, you know, build the first idea and then improve. You know like 3D printing is getting more like more known and stuff like that. Do you plan to put like diagrams of these pieces online so people could print them out? What we really want is for these kids to be designing their own things and printing them out. So they they could if they figure out a better way to make these, because mm -hmm. there's always gonna be limitations on the things you design. We want them to improve on the things that we've made and just make even cooler things. <laughs> 